Hey and welcome to day two of the MailChimp Masterclass with the WordPress Workspace. Again, I'm Nicola and I'm going to be walking you through MailChimp lists today. So we're going to head on over to MailChimp.com and log into our account with the details that we created on day one of this masterclass. Okay, so once we're logged in, we're going to head on over to lists here up at the top and you'll actually notice that there's already one list created and that's because once you create your account on MailChimp, MailChimp creates a default list for you and if you click on this, the WordPress workspace, which is the name of my account, you'll see I have one subscriber and that subscriber will be myself. Now you have two options, you can either delete it or you can leave it. For now, we're going to leave it and we're going to head back to lists again and I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to create your first list. Now, what I want to explain to you is exactly what a list is. A list is basically a database of email addresses and contact details of people and your clients and your customers that you have collected either via your website or via an event that you have done and you have gotten their permission to use for campaigns. So to create your first list, you're going to head on over to the create list button here on the right hand side. And you're going to create your first list. Okay, now you can give your list different names depending on the campaign or depending on exactly where you're collecting the emails from and what the emails are going to be used for. So let's say, for example, I am collecting the emails for this MailChimp masterclass or perhaps an SEO masterclass. So I'm going to type in SEO uh, masterclass with the WordPress workspace. Okay, so a great example, as you can see here, if you click on this, it just says make it something that's an appropriate that your subscribers will see and that relates to exactly why they're signing up for your newsletter. If you scroll down, you'll see um, who are the emails going to come from. So they're going to come from me, Nicola Tweed, at the wordpressworkspace.com. And the default name is Workspace. Okay, you can have a little scroll down. And below here, there's a little section whereby you can remind people how they signed up for your list. And this is important to add just so people know how exactly they did get onto this. People are signing up for newsletters all the time and it is illegal to just put anyone's email address on your list. You have to get their permission. So you can write a short reminder here and the great thing is it gives you a little example. So I'm going to say you are receiving this email because you opted in for the SEO master class with workspace okay scroll down a little bit and you'll see the contact information for the for this list and this is the information that i put in on day one so i'm doing, going to leave it for now scroll down and if you want you can enable double opt-in and this is basically to send the contact an opt-in confirmation email just to click that yes, we do actually want to be subscribed. Now having the double opt-in can sometimes stop people and people to too many clicks. So I prefer to leave it off, but you might want to add it on. Then down below, notifications of people signing up. You can get daily notifications one by one notifications and also one by one notifications if people unsubscribe. So you can either pick whichever one. I often, daily summary is quite nice, but if it's something that's a time frame period, you might want to see one by one just to encourage you. Okay, and then we're going to click save. Okay, so we've created our first MailChimp list. And as you can see, excellent. You have a brand new list. The name of my list is the SEO Masterclass with the WordPress Workspace. And if you scroll down, you can actually see view contacts. And those are the people that have actually signed up to my list. And there are a couple of options here at the top as well. But that's what we're going to be covering 
in day three of this masterclass. Thank you for joining us today and we will see you tomorrow.